What's happening guys? We are in Liverpool for the weekend. It is Friday. We've arrived at the Fitness Expo down at Liverpool. First time being here. Excited? Very excited. First time being in Liverpool as well. So. It looks nice so far. Nice hotel. The entrance to the exhibition centre is right next to the hotel. Big shout out to the guys for getting us down. We have Sinead, Kushi, Harry, the North Korean Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> and of course Simon. Um, so we're going to be setting up we're going to go in and see our stall. Hopefully, you guys will all be there so we can record it. Yeah, we'll see how I it goes. I arrived in style. How do you like my jacket? I've got a new dress sense now. Eh? William uh, Mulligan quarterback. inspired me. <laughs> Quarterbacker. William Mulligan, this is for you, yeah? Initial impression. It looks really cool, actually. I'm actually really excited now because once, you know. Driving down takes a long time to come here. But yeah, being part of a, an expo, I guess I think it was really cool. Um, really nice, you know, Rick and Danny and the guys. Um, Aidan, I think the guy uh, we just met, the kind of owners, I guess. Yeah, I think we're going to be really well looked after, which is, um, again, very humble and it's very surreal. Yeah, really excited for it. Going to get our merch set up. Or the guy's going to get it. We're going to drop it off. And we've got a podcast to do. And then we're going to to um, see some stuff for the blood lab so yeah really excited gonna try and showcase as much as we can super excited to have you guys along for the ride every time i say excited punch me in the face so what's your role here today just enjoying myself really yeah this is kind of a holiday for me <laughs> <laughs> uh, so i'll be kind of manning the the merchandise stall uh, along with kushi Maybe Gabs if uh, if it gets really busy. Um, this is my first expo, so it's kind of like just feeling my way. I see what see what everything's like. Um, so far, it's pretty it's pretty hectic already. We're just gonna go away and set up our our stall. So yeah, should be good. That's a whale, bro. What kind of plane is that's that? A, that's a whale, bro. We're going to get some magical blood from the Blood Lab. The best blood analysis group in the UK. Check them out for all your needs and blood. If you want to suck blood, go to use them. If you want to taste blood, use them. If you want to get strong, use them. If you want to be like Tom and me, use them. Let's go and see the guys. Come on. How are you finding your day, Tommy? Chilled out. What'd you get up to? We did a podcast. I did helium and my head went really weird, so... Uh, that's a surprise for all you guys. We are now at the blood lab. We are getting some bloods done before the hectic days start. So yeah, it's going to be good. Just chilled out. Uh, we've still got some stuff to do on the stand, but apart from that, it should be all good. So let's see what happens. Fingers crossed everything goes smoothly from now. Tom said, I don't know if you said, we are on a podcast, The Not So Fit Couple, um, with Lucy and Ben, really cool, um, really excited, it was a really nice chat actually, um, so we did some jokes, we like, read out some jokes, we played whoever breaks face first, like, you know, breaks character, whatever, loses, then we did some helium, we took some helium balloons, our voices were almost normal, um, it wasn't so deep. Um, so that uh, was really good fun, so that'll be out but on their podcast. They've got a really cool podcast channel actually. The Not So Fit Couple, I think it's called. Um, yeah, really nice to do that. They're here tomorrow as well, so that'll be fun to see them. Um, yeah, a nice day. Busy, busy here. It's, uh, all the guys are hectic. Luke is my favourite person in the whole world. By the way, the magician, the doctor, the best in the world. The blood lab. The magician, the doctor, the sexiest and biggest magician, doctor. This is all fake. <laughs> the blood lab. The muscle is just fake. This is a guy that kept me healthy for World Strawman 2022. <laughs> so here, I'm sitting on the blood lab seat. Yeah, I just got my blood stand. Now look at me. I look like a cauliflower. Now I'm getting a mix of tropical orange and apple. Straight into the bloodstream. 
this will help me live, a, live to fight another day. How about you? Your turn, bro. You hear it up? Ah, ah, bah. Sitting on a seat, got my feet up. Don't give a f cause this blood don't leak. I'm like, not the vegetable, the leaking type, like a tap. That's why I'm rapping. Like a Christmas present, I rap more than you. One, two, three. Then we go to four, five, six, <laughs> laying them sticks. Sticks and stones break my bones. But blood never hurt me because I see the blood blood group. Because they see the blood lab, blood lab group because they are like fruit, very tasty. I like strawberries and bananas and a milkshake. Because my milkshake brings all the boys to the world. Damn right, it's better than you, the blood drop. It's better than you, the blood lab. It's better than you. It's cold outside or something. Mm -hmm. Extra medium. Extra medium. Extra smurf. When did you get out? He just arrived. No, I'm back. Um, I'm here since about one o'clock. Did it's you fly? Yeah. And you drove? Yeah. You got a private plane. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> private plane as well. Uh, High five! High five! <laughs> Chris, I found your vest. <laughs> What's that? What do you have to break before you can use? A world record. An egg. Yeah, an egg, that's what I said. What has? An eye, but cannot see. I said that, sorry, it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to say that, mate. <laughs> uh, what has an eye, but can't see? The eye of a uh, needle. Ah, yes! Have you got another one? No. That was good. One hour. Two hour. One hour. What's black and white and red all over? A newspaper. Oh. What a sunburnt penguin. What? What a sunburnt penguin. I, I thought what it was a sunburnt sunburn. penguin. Is penguin. Crested penguin. <laughs> yeah, so the covers are getting. Uh, Laid down and then tomorrow we might just sort out the finishing touches but we've got the rails here now and it's looking better so all good, all good, all good, yeah. I got a vibe! Someone might see your six second Okay, what's up? So we just finished getting our bloods done. We are now going to do a talk on stage. Um, so that'll be fun. So see how that goes. Hope you enjoy. Hope you're motivated. Hope we don't see Paul Dwyer too soon. Uh, but two very special guests who are going to come up and have a chat to us now are Tom and Luke Stoltman. is going into as well, is that right? Yeah, Big Harry. Um, I'm the runt of the family at six okay. foot three. So Harry, our youngest brother at 26 years old, he's now working for the business that we've set up, which is, which again is incredible. Um, so he's able to be at home. He's got a little boy. Um, he's got a son that he gets to see all the time. Plus then he can train whenever he likes, you know, it's, the, the business is the Stoltman brothers and we're not, it's not just Tom and I, it's Tom, myself and Harry, so um, very proud of that. And yeah, he's training really well, um, you can see him on our YouTube channel, he's, he's smashing it. I'm, I'm really scared, you know, he's going to fuck me up, man, honestly. It's, I used to be the strongest brother, now I'm probably going to be the weakest brother, so I mean, it is what it is, it's one of those things, so. The best hype man. If you need a hype man, please email me. I am £20,000 per session, so very worth it. Raised two times world's strongest man, Europe's strongest man. You know, it's, it's not by chance. So with that harder environment, that just goes to show that it really does breed a little bit more, a little bit more in your heart and, and that res resilience that you have to face. I think that really helps in strong man because that's what we face all the time. Amazing, and so, like, I guess that 
in some ways your community or your environment brought you a level of adversity that other people didn't have to face, which stood you in good stead to face further adversity. Whenever you go into the town, and Stoltman's not a Scottish name, it's a Polish name. So our grandfather came over World War II, very unknown in the UK, the name Stoltman. And now we've got it on every entrance into our hometown. And it's pretty well known now, the name. So, you know, having um, our grandfather come from World War II, he could have got shot, could have died, and, and we wouldn't have been here. So it's a, yeah, it, it was a fighting battle from the get-go for us to, to be here on the stage speaking to you guys, to be strong men, to be alive. So it's, it's very humbling that the local community support us the way they do. It's amazing. That's on stage this evening. We'll see you on Sunday. <laughs> no, that's actually. Subscribe to my YouTube and you'll see. <laughs> that, see, we're trying to give inspirational speech. Spox, speeches? Spoxes? Spooches. Spooches. When you're trying to give something inspirational back to the fans that Pa obviously doesn't have. No, get, no one believes him. He gets really jealous, it's horrible. I heard your work, Mr. You alright, guys? How are you getting on? How's it going? Jeez, all the same. Yeah. How are you doing, bud? You're right. nice to see you, bud. Yeah, I'm good, bud. I'm good. What do you think of the stands, mate? Yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? Especially the, the people here ha did it for us. It looks good, so... Once it's full, we'll get ready for it. But it's going to be a busy day tomorrow. I need food, I need bed, and I cannot wait, so... Uh... Liverpool, we will see you tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tom, why did you just touch his... Tom's going to suck this. Stay stay smell and stay spicy and have a great night. Thank you. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding ling ling ling. ding ling.